the one man pops off of the five man's down screen and catches the ball outside the three-point line. The five and the two set a stagger screen for the three, making sure that there's space in between them. Rather than the three going off of both screens, he will curl off of the two and go straight to the basket, looking for an easy basket if he loses his man. After the two man sets his screen for the three, and the three curls to the rim, the two will then curl off of the five man for a pin down, and the one has the option to then throw it to the two if the three was not open. For this sideline out of bounds play, it's, it's a stagger setup that actually gives you two options to get a bucket. You can probably run this with less than five seconds left. It'll happen quick enough that you can get these two actions and get these two looks off. I think it's a great opportunity because you might get an easy one and a super cheap one at the end of the game, and then you might have to earn one, but it's a great action to get two different options so that you're not stuck with one. So the way that we'll set it up is we'll basically put these guys in a line just like this. My five man's at the top, then I've got my point guard, I've got my two man, and then I've got my three in the corner. The four will take it out, What's going to happen is on the slap of the ball, the one is going to pop up and catch it going to the basketball, or it's going to the sideline, he'll catch it. I like to have him catch it probably just outside the, the lane line so that he's got some room for this action. Now what's going to happen is the five and the two are going to go to set a stagger screen. Now if you guys freeze, most people when they see this, they assume that this guy is going to come off of the stagger. Maybe this guy might slip and he's going to try and get the shot. So what's actually going to happen is the three is going to set his guy up you need to allow a little bit of space right here, and he could probably even be a little closer if he wanted to. He's going to act like he's coming off these two staggers, and he's actually going to shortcut the first one, and he's going to go to the rim. That might be where you get your cheap one, because he goes to trail assuming that he's going to be up here, and you get a wide open layup. In the event that he doesn't get it, the two man's going to wait after he sets the screen for about a second, and then he's going to peel back and come off the five man, and the one's going to hit him for a shot. So you can either go to the elbow, you can pop back. If you catch the ball, you're probably going to have to get a shot either on the catch or maybe off of one dribble. If you get it, obviously you got a dribble or two to just go finish at the rim. So the first time that we'll run it, Luke, I'll let you choose whether you want to hit the first one or hit the second one, and then we'll run it twice and get both. All right. Tight curl, excellent. Come back. All right, let's run it again and get the other option. Tight curl, there he is right there. Money, excellent, good job.